Darkness today, we'll be taking a look at the DC Multiverse, Batman and the Bat Raptor. This is from the Batman Who Laughs series, and this is the gold label version from DC Multiverse, Todd McFarlane Toys. As we take a look at the figure itself, we can see him here riding the Bat Raptor. We can see on the side, it says Batman and the Bat Raptor. On the back, we can see this nice artwork, and it says Batman and the Bat Raptor. And on the side, Batman and the Bat Raptor. And we take a look at the UPC code, if I can get it in here. There we go. All right, let's take this sucker out of the box. Actually, Actually before I get it out of the box, let's go ahead and weigh the box. And we see this comes in at two pounds, 12.8 okay, ounces. Now that we have it out of the box, we can see this differs from the original Bat Raptor as it is blue instead of black. Um, it does have some nice silver highlights here and you'll see here it does have a little bit extra coloring. And as we can see here it does like to roll which is important for a vehicle to do. And we come to the back and we see these orange highlights. We have some silver painting here more orange highlights. As we turn to the side, we see the same thing as we look in the front. We can see it coming towards you very fast. And as we look at the bottom, here we can see just standard pipes and things like that you would expect to see on the bottom of a Bat Raptor. All right, let's go ahead and take Batman out and look at the cockpit of the Bat Raptor itself. You see, we have this red visor here. We have some controls and it looks like you could just place the hands inside there. There's nothing for them to really grab onto. This does collapse a little bit so you can fit other figures and that may not be as tall but it does slide out to accommodate larger figures which is a nice touch. Right. I was told that this is a Batman from the Hush line and he does look like that. Um, he has this growl on his face. As we pull him in closer, we can see that he does have red eyes and the growl, grabby hands, some stretches on his outfit, his utility belt. But yeah, it's a nice uh, Batman. You can see here his blue cape and it is rubber and does attach to his back okay and this is the standard issue Batman so he can look up slightly down slightly and it's actually articulation in the neck and not the head that he does this with he can look left and right slightly. Arms come up. Circles. Rotates at the shoulder. Bicep. Arm double swivel. Hand all the way around. Has slight ab crunch. And his waist does have somewhat of a swivel. Legs come out that far. Can do the split. The Van Damme split. The double knee. Ankle is on a ball joint and his toes have the normal bend. Okay. Let's put him to the side and, and start doing some, some comparisons. comparisons. We bring in the Batman who laughs infected. Duke from G.I. Joe Classified. And the Flash from DC Multiverse. Okay. And as we pull out the scales, we can see Batman does top out at almost eight inches tall. 
the Bat Raptor itself, fully extended, comes out at 13 inches long, almost 9 inches wide, so that is very nice. So, final thoughts so. on this figure. Um, it is a very nice rendition of uh, a fictional bat cycle. Um, I'm not familiar with it from the source comics, but as you can see here, um, Batman is at a little bit of an awkward angle. Um, um, has to bend really good at the waist, and uh, the cape kind of uh, takes away from the posability because it's so high up that it uh, kind of blocks. But it does fit in still nicely. It uh, displays nicely. Um, definitely, if you don't have the first version, can't find it, this is a good alternative. And plus, since it comes with the Batman himself, you can display them together without taking away from your other figures and display them. But, like I said before, you can put other figures in it, like Robin, Batgirl, and all the other Bat family. As always, guys, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.